we are back with another video a nice short video for friday we'll talk about the sp500 stock market crash alert with major levels you want to watch for the sp500 this is a stock you want to be watching out for every day you're on the market it will help you out a lot trust me okay we're also going to go over a little news iran israel news also some iranian news of a rapper and then we'll also go over the yields of what you want to be watching because this will go into like interest rates which is also weighing the market down which also can bring us down much more okay so just kind of watch out for that we'll go over that make sure you guys uh smash the like button subscribe if you're new let's get this video over 100 likes within two hours for this extra video i wasn't gonna make a video today but i was like let me just post one tomorrow will be the big levels video everything for the next week and so forth right there's going to be a lot of news next week, too. I'll add it in tomorrow's video. Around noon, I'll post that big levels video tomorrow, okay? But I hope you guys like the extra video. So SP500, we got major levels to go over, how S&P is moving, why S&P is moving like this, which is very crucial in how you trade in a week like this, okay? Notice how, yes, we are bearish. We have not turned bullish yet, but why is SP moving like this? Because of what? earnings so when you have earnings seasons you just want to be very careful okay because like i was telling the team make sure you join we got like 15 14 more days before i close it but i was telling the team yes i would like to get swing puts here we would have won but then the next day it rocketed back up right because of what earnings is going to affect a lot of these price movements like we had microsoft we had google we had meta and so forth whether they crash or go down they're heavily weighted on the sp500 so you got to wait for the big earnings to go away we still got big earnings we still got apple amazon nvidia and so forth the ones that are weighted heavily you got to wait for those and then once those are done with then you go back to like swings and so forth right you just got to get very structured um in your trade and not free trade okay always make sure there's an actual play but yeah so let's go over a little, little bit of news first um there's some threats that loom over iran and israel that word right there y'all know it's not over with right maybe it feels like it got a little quieter but it's not over with so just keep that in the back of your mind right kind of prepare for that so it doesn't blindside you you're like big calls or something and then this comes to, to light and then boom, the market crashes and you lose a lot of money so just keep that in the back burner of your mind also a rapper uh for protesting iranian that's just some news headlines just going over that i don't know how much that affects the market but we'll see and then um also the interest rates the yields okay so it's not the conversation the now. yields oh, the yields are going up right so this is going to prolong interest rates to getting cut and this is not good for the market also not good for bonds i also feel like bonds is going to be one of the biggest plays once they're ready make sure you join the team uh, the team to see that but yeah start watching this yield because the more this goes up it's just not good for the market not good for houses not good for cars it's just not good for the economy in general okay so start watching this yield right here it's a 10-year uh bond yield okay so start watching that very crucial you kind of watch that it'll kind of help you understand that the market Eh, probably shouldn't be going up right now also today we did do some plays we did apple call option plays for a 10 percent gain we did qqq call options that did 38 percent gain look we bought it 850 sold it all 852 two minutes 38 percent gain your membership's paid for easy peasy make sure you join the team first in that description it's only 65 dollars a month very low 650 for the year 49.9 one time fee if you do lifetime with personal training where i teach you then personal training by itself 699 one time fee make sure you email me will know com. make sure it's the right email then once you join the elite, you get access to Discord where I do all the buys and sales, options, leaps, shares, and so forth. You also see me live. So we're doing it live. I tell you, if this price breaks here, I'm looking to get in here, looking to sell here. We did it perfect today. That's how the whole team won off the uh, QQ play and the app. Just caught this bank of the play here. upside on QQQ. You can see the whole team won. Yes, yes, yes. 10, 25, 40% gain, 36%. You can literally pay for your membership like this 45, 38, 28, 25. So boom, you see the whole team green, one right green, there. Green, just green, make sure you join. Green, you got like 15 more days or so and it's going to be closed and once i open it back up all prices are going to be higher you have the sp500 up today why because of google let me show y'all we also play google earnings we got over 300 percent gains of that so we played the google earnings we did a strangle on it that paid very handsomely this is moving spy s p 500 right we have microsoft we played this one as well this is moving the sp500 right because of earnings we did play earnings and we got out nicely on that one but that's why you got to understand of what is moving the sp500 up okay we still have a resistance level right around 510 on the sp500 and we have our bigger support around 50130 okay we do have a smaller support that i want to put on here at about 506 even so that's something i wanted to add that we could be watching for next week for like monday and so forth we got a lot of news so make sure you watch out for the video uh tomorrow 
because that's going to be the big levels video. So 506 is support on SP500. We got 50130 down here. These are your two supports. And this is the resistance level at 510. That's been the resistance level for about weeks right now. So as we go up, we need to see our price acts at this 510 level to see is it going to reject? Is it going to hold it? Does it want to push up more or so forth to give us a better direction? Right now, this is just a normal retracement. After every day was red, I told y'all we needed some green movements in here. And that's exactly what we're getting. So make sure you guys don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Nice short video for Friday. Hope you guys appreciate it. Main level, so watch out for the SP500. Yes, we're still bearish. We haven't turned bullish yet. Nothing in the economy right now seems bullish, so just keep that in the back of your mind. A little bit of news as well. And then, like, also start watching SQQQ. A little pull down, but watch that support at 1150. It's kind of testing that right now as we speak, right, at that support level. So see if that breaks today. Uh, and if it doesn't break today, it will still be the same support level for Monday. But you want to watch SQQ because sometimes it could be signs of uh, when SPY might start dropping as well. Like last time we played SQ, we bought in here. We sold up here. I think it was like 10, 20 percent gains. I played it again, but I went half, lost 6 percent on that. So I think I'm still up like 15 percent or so on SQQ. And I'll be looking to play it again. But once the SP 500 confirms again. OK, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice short one for Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Big video come out tomorrow. Don't forget to join the team. First in the description. Follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. You can check the story. You see the whole team winning. And always remember, no recommendation to buy. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.